Hey, happy Sunday. Wow, this day has gone fast. Whee! I want to show you my eyebrows. Look at them. See, they're not as dark as they were. I like this dye better than what my hairdresser used. Now, I think what my hairdresser used, I think she changed it. Because when she first started doing mine, they stayed darker longer. Like, they would, they would keep some color to them for at least three weeks. But here, just for the last year or so, she would tint my eyebrows. And I was lucky if the color lasted two weeks and it was just completely gone. This has definitely held up. And I've washed my face numerous times since they did it. So, yeah, I'm, I'm very happy. I, I really like it. I'm definitely going to go back there. I was very pleased with what they did. So, I will be, I will be doing that again. Um, this is going to be kind of short. I'm out in front of Lidl. I'm going across the street to get Wendy's for my son. And it's, I feel like a hypocrite right now because I made a video for my other channel. At the request, somebody requested it. Um, somebody sent me an email on it. And they're dealing with a rough financial situation where they're dealing with debt. And they're really stressed out. And wanted to know if I would make a, one of the Mama Mary's lectures about debt. On my other channel so I did and I have edited it and it's I'm gonna upload it and you know, whenever it's done it'll be at least an hour before I can upload it because it has to process because I thought of several things after I finished the video that I wanted to put in there that, that I forgot to say so I edited it to include a couple of clips of other stuff I, I meant to say so that's if, if you have asked me for that because I've had people ask me here about it and there um, and I've been thinking about it all day since I got that email the other day, and I just cannot stop thinking about it. And sometimes, I don't know how to explain it, but sometimes I just feel led to make a video. Like, you need to do this. You need to make this video. It's not something I plan to do. It's not something I thought about doing. But I, it's almost like this insistent, pervasive thought of, you need to make this video today. You need to talk about this. And when I get that feeling, I do it. I don't ignore it. I go ahead and do it. And I, 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 it, I have not been able to shake it all day long. I've been thinking about it. And I kept thinking, you need, to make, you need to make a video about dealing with debt and finances. So, all right, fine. I'll do it. So, I just sat down. I don't have any little cards. I, it was just a stream of consciousness, basically. It's just as stuff came to me, I just talked about it. So... And it's like 40, it's almost 50 minutes long. <laughs> it, I thought it was going to be short, but I just, nah, it was almost a damn hour. But uh, I talked, so I talked about it. So you can look for that on my other channel. I just felt led to do it and put it on my other channel. I don't, I don't know. I can't explain it. Sometimes I just get these thoughts and I, I just, and I just go with it. Like if my instinct tells me to do it, I do it. I don't, I don't question it. I don't ignore it. I do it. I have learned to listen to whatever that is. So I did it. So um, that'll be coming later tonight. But I feel like a little bit of a hypocrite because I was talking about, you know, don't waste money. And, you know, if you have money problems, you need to figure out how you're spending your money and blah. Well, and one of the things I said was you need to look at how much money you're spending going through the drive through and going out to eat because that can add up. Because it can. And we don't really ever go out to eat as a, as a family, my little family, me and my kids. We don't really ever go out to eat. We certainly, we don't really go out to eat together. Really, the only time we go out to eat is when my dad comes to visit and he takes us out to eat and he won't let me pay. Like he, We always have to go to the cafeteria, the damn K&W cafeteria. <sighs> he loves going there. That is his favorite place. I don't know. So, But he always pays. He won't let me pay. That's about the only time we ever go out to eat as a family. Now, sometimes I will go through the drive-thru and get something. But when I do, it's usually like I'll get burgers... I don't get extras. I don't get drinks. I don't get anything else. It's, I just get the entree, as they call it, and take it home for them to eat. And I usually don't even get anything for myself because a lot of that kind of food I don't really like. But my young, my older son is at work, and my younger son was saying, well, I was going to make burgers at home. I have, I have the stuff to make them, but I was going to wait until both of the kids were there and, you know, make some for both of my son. I was kind of wanting to make burgers with both of y'all here, and your brother's not here, so... He said, well, can I please have some spicy nuggets from, from Wendy's? So I'm going over there to get him spicy nuggets from Wendy's. I'm not going to get anything. I don't, I don't, well, I don't know. Do I want anything from there? Now, I am a sucker for their junior bacon cheeseburger. I do like that. But I'm sitting here like, 
I have a salad in the refrigerator that I was going to have eat for dinner. I'm like, you have a salad, Mary. You don't need a damn burger. And like, I might need a Frosty. Can I get a Frosty? Mary. No. No. Just go get the spicy nuggets and go home. Well, he also wanted a Frosty. He wanted a Frosty. Like a small vanilla Frosty and a small order of fries. He likes, he gets the vanilla Frosty and dips the fries in it. I said, no, if you're going to dip the fries in a Frosty, it's got to be chocolate Frosty. You can't dip the fries in the vanilla Frosty. That's just gross. Chocolate Frosty and dip the fries in it and eat the fries. It is so good. I don't care. You may think it's nasty. It's not nasty. It's actually really good. You get the sweet and the salty together and it's really good. So, but yeah, I wanted to let you know that I do have that video coming up for my other channel. What did I do today? I did wash my car. I got out and washed my car. It was really gross. And a bird at some point flew over and just splattered my car with poop. Like all the way up the hood and the windshield. Like, oh my God. <laughs> it's just, <laughs> damn. What the hell did you have for lunch? So... I was going to wash it anyway because it really needed it. It was just covered in pollen and it looked terrible. Like, So I got out my, my bucket and my soap and the hose and washed it in the driveway. I think it was an Amtrak train. So um, I went to an exercise class. Washed my car. Did some laundry. Oh, I put up some edging too. I was going to show you all that. I was going to do a little video of it, but I, I forgot and I was done by the time I remembered. And then I didn't feel like doing it because my foot was killing me and I wanted to go inside. Uh, my, my, I have plantar fasciitis in my right foot and I've been on it way too much today. And the class I went to kind of irritated it. So yeah, I'm like, I, I need to go in and get off my feet for a little bit. But okay, so my next door neighbor, like if you're standing facing out, like you're at my front door looking out at the street, my next door neighbor over here, it was Buffalo Bill's house, but there's, I can't talk about it right now. Maybe in a neighborhood gossip video at some point, but I, there's something going on over there right now. Anyway, they put a whole bunch of mulch around their bushes in front of the house. There's like this massive forsythia bush right next to like my property line. They put a whole bunch of mulch under there and it's kind of on a slope because it comes comes down like this into my yard and then it levels out in my yard well every time it rains that damn mulch just washes off into my grass and it's just like a tidal wave of mulch and it's the little small aggravating pieces of mulch and it gets down in my grass and i'm so mad about it so i was in aldi this morning and i was looking at the isle of shame and they have these edging pieces that lock together so you can, you know, bury them down in the ground and they kind of lock like that. And it was $6.99 for a 10-foot section of edgy pieces. So I bought a pack of that for $6.99 and I went out there this afternoon after my class and dug in, you know, my little trench. I pushed all the mulch back, got it all out of my grass, threw it back up in there, pushed it back and dug in, you know, with my shovel. And I put in that mulch. I didn't go too far, just like right along my property line and up just a little bit to hopefully keep that mulch from washing down into my yard anymore. And I figure if anybody asks me about it, I'll explain why I did it. And, you know, I hope you don't mind that I did that, but your mulch, I'm trying to let, I'm trying to help you keep your mulch that you paid for because it's ended up in my yard and I don't like it. So I put, yes, I did put that in there. They may ask about it. I don't know. Probably not. They probably won't even notice I did it. But So I guess we'll see with the next rain if that helps. So I did that. And I already have a little tomato on one of my tomato plants. It's about this, about the size of a marble. But there's a little green tomato, a baby tomato on my, one of my plants. So I was very excited to see that. And my strawberry, my little strawberries have little flowers on them. So hopefully we'll have some strawberries later. Um, It's been a good day. It's been pretty good. Um, so, some people have asked about Wally. Yeah, Wally still comes around from time to time. I don't see him every day. And when he does come, he mainly just comes and eats a little bit and travels on. Like, he, he doesn't hang around. I'm not trying to trap him right now. I guess I should, but it's so unpredictable when he comes by. And he never... 
I don't know how to explain it. He'll go eat out of that one bowl, and if there's no food back there, he'll just he just walks on. He doesn't, you know, hang around. He just keeps walking. If there's no food, he just keeps walking. So I'm just part of his route, wherever the hell he goes. He goes all over the neighborhood. He goes all he goes pretty far. Um, but he's he's okay. He's okay. He's still not neutered, and I still I want to catch him. The trap guy, the wildlife guy, never came back. Um, he left two traps in my backyard. I texted him one day and I said, look, you know, because he was saying, oh, I got family stuff going on. And I said, look, you know, I understand you got family issues and, you know, I, I, I respect that. I'm sorry you're dealing with that. But, you know, I paid you to come out here and help me catch this cat with all due respect. And you, you know, you just stopped showing up altogether. You don't answer me. Can I have a refund? And he did give me all my money back. He came and got his traps, and I got a full refund, and he apologized. I said, I understand, but so, yeah. He said, I just can't deal with it right now. I said, that's okay. I understand that. I appreciate you giving my money back, and so he's not going to be helping me. Um, so far, I have not been able to do much of anything with Wally. Um I know, I know. I said I was going to, and I, I have been. Tr I tried. The trap guy tried. No luck yet. But, uh, but like I say, he comes around very. He doesn't come around at the same time, and he can go for days. And you won't see him anywhere. And then I look out there, and he's just out there. And then two minutes later, he's gone. And I don't know. I don't know. With him spraying now, I don't. I don't want to let him in the house because I really. If they. If they. Ugh. You ever had a cat spray in your house? You don't want that. You about need a damn exorcism to get that shit out of your house. To get that smell out. I don't feel like dealing with that. So I don't want to let him in the house. Um, but he doesn't really ever... He doesn't seem to want to come in the house. He just wants to eat and leave. Like, Alright, fine. But, um... He's still around. He's still, he's still out there. I don't know. Anyway, um... I'm gonna go get... What am I getting... Chicken, spicy chicken nuggets, vanilla frosty, and a small a small frosty and a small thing of fries, and that's it. I don't get a bunch of extra stuff normally. I don't get a frosty, but he has lately discovered he likes the vanilla frosties at Wendy's. So I like the chocolate ones myself, but he didn't, he only wants those vanilla frosties. But I'm not really tempted to eat it, but I wouldn't mind having a chocolate frosty and some fries, but no, I'm going to be good. I'm going to go home and eat my salad. That I, I meant to have it for lunch, but I ended up having vegetable soup for lunch, and I uh, thought we'll just have the salad later. So I'm going to go home and eat that salad, and uh, yeah, I don't know. Did anything else? Is that all I did today? That's all I did. Well, I did go to Aldi this morning. I did go do that. I went and got some stuff and yeah it's just been kind of a day it was chilly this morning it feels better now it's not quite so chilly so a week from tomorrow i start my new job i'm nervous but i'm excited i'm ready to do it so for the next week i'm gonna do whatever the hell i want to i do have one doctor's appointment and i need to make an appointment to get my blood work done to get my thyroid checked i want to go ahead and get that done too before i start work so I'm going to call Monday and see if I can get an appointment for that. Basically, all I need is an appointment to go in for my doctor to see me because she has to, like, see me once a year. And then she sends me back there for blood work. And then, you know, we wait for the results to come back. And if she needs to adjust my Synthroid, she does. And if not, then she doesn't. And she just sends the prescription over and that's that. So I thought if I could get that done this week too, that'd be good. Other than that, I don't know. I don't have a lot going on. I was thinking about it, though. What should I do this week that I would, like, what am I going to look back on at the end of this week and go, man, why didn't I do that while I had a week off? I can't really think of anything. I definitely need to get in the habit of going to bed at a decent hour, and I need to stop staying up so late. I have got to stop doing that. Um, I, am so, I like to stay up late. I'm more of a nighttime person anyway, you know. But I got, I got to quit. I got, I've, I've made a promise to myself. Like from here on out, you are going to bed by 11 p.m. every night, preferably 10:30 at the latest, but definitely no later than 11, because I'm gonna have to start getting up earlier in the mornings, and you know, like I have to go somewhere and be, you know, a productive person in the presence of other people, and 
that's going to be really weird. Because I haven't had to do that in so long. Oh my God. Okay. Mm, it's going to be, it's going to be a hell of an adjustment, but it'll be all right. I've been through bigger adjustments than this. This is not that bad. And I am looking forward to it. I think it's going to be an interesting challenge. Um, several people have asked me, you know, why don't you give details about your job? Well, having had a stalker before, um, it's not fun for people to know where you work and to know where you're going to be every day. You know what I mean? So that's why I don't want to give a whole lot of details about it. Um, it's not what I did before, but I, it's, it's a change and that's what I wanted. So I, I have what I wanted. This is the job I wanted to get. I did get it. And eventually I will be working from home, at, I think two days a week. I don't know what two days. But for now, I'm going to be going into the office every day because I'm, I'm going to be training on this job. So I have to go in every day, and that's fine. They already told me that, and I said that's totally fine. But yeah, I, I, I had a stalker a few years ago, and it was really not fun. I had to get the police involved, and this person was sending packages and like long handwritten letters to my house. They had my personal cell phone number. They would call and leave silent voicemails. They were sending flowers to me at work and leaving creepy messages, like sending me emails and texts that were just really creepy. Um, I, you know, anybody can find you, but I'm not going to go out of my way to make it easier for them, you know? Um, but I learned a lot from the stalker experience. Um, so I had to be a lot more careful about what I say. And I modify some of the things I do tell you, so it's it may not be entirely accurate, but it's not like important modifications that, you know. I can't tell you everything, because it's just not prudent to do so. And I also made sure that I can protect myself if need be. I had to take steps toward that, and to also beef up the security in and around my home. So, you know, it made me smarter and it made me make some wise decisions that I've followed through on since then. And, uh, yeah, you can't be too careful. So anyway, that's why I don't give any, a whole lot of details about my job. Just know that I'm happy. You know, I'm happy about it. I'm looking forward to it. And I, I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be a good thing, but I will let, I will give you updates from time to time about how I feel about it, how it's going. I'll tell you about that. I'm just not going to get into details about it. That's all. So anyway, I'm going to go over to Wendy's and I'm going to get some food for my kid. And then I'm going to go home and eat a very sad, but nutritious salad. <laughs> The spicy nuggets are not tempting to me at all. I hate those things. Every time I try to eat one, it makes me cough. Like something about the seasoning or something, it makes me cough. It irritates my throat. Blech. I don't like them. I think they're nasty, but he loves them. So I'm going to go get his nuggets and his frosty and his fries, and then I'm going to go home. But thank you so much for watching and for being here. I hope your weekend was good. My weekend was good. It was The weather was gross yesterday, though rained off and on all day and we had some thunder and lightning and a lot of wind it was very windy and this morning it was just downright chilly outside just woof Ugh. cold it's not so bad now it's actually pretty decent but um i think for like four days in the coming week it's supposed to rain every day so my last week before work it's just going to be gross weather i'll have to get out and mow the yard early in the week before the rain comes so i do have that to do and a doctor's appointment. Possibly two. I might try to get to Target one day this week and organize candy, but I, I don't know. I'll do it if I feel like it. This week is all about doing what I feel like doing, except for the stuff I have to do. I'm just going to take every day and do what I feel like doing. It's like my last week of freedom before I go back to work full time. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy it. But thank you again so much for being here and for watching. I hope you have a great week coming up, and I'll see you again soon.